Okay, moving along to the uh, part one, basic symbolism, and this is the lightning bolt. We begin to, with Anton LaVey again, the renowned Satanist. Now, Satanists revere the lightning bolt because in Luke chapter 10, verse 18, uh, Jesus says that he beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven, and that's why they use the lightning bolt. In this case, here his, this is his pendant with the down-pointing star and the lightning bolt within. You can see that pendant there, Anton LaVey. You can see here satanic news on the march on the internet and the use of the lightning bolt. We also have the Waffen SS lightning bolt of the Nazi Germany and the use of uh, in that version. Kiss uses that version, which is the Nazi version. Kiss again knights in Satan's service. Black Sabbath and the use of that style of a lightning bolt. You can see here the Nazi emblem or a pendant. You can see here the same symbol being used uh, uh, like the Nazi version. Again here, single eye symbolism and the distinction of that eye. We're going to get into that later, what that is. And you'll find that out probably before we get to that full section. ACDC, yes, a reference to uh, electricity. But in this case, you can see with their lyrics and what they do with horns that and their titles, that they're all about hell and Satan. So the use of the lightning bolt and this duality of symbolism um, uh, and that deception that way. Now it just so happens that in, in mythology, uh, I challenge you to understand what mythology is all about, uh, what mythology is about, and it is a manifestation of the spirit world, one of the chief deities being Zeus, and Zeus is a lightning god. So you have this lightning symbology throughout. Here's Greece, and you have uh, Zeus being represented. This is a, an electric company, so you have the cables, and then this angelic being, and the use of, of the lightning bolts. Here's in movies, and the lightning. Uh, they like to, uh, again, fantasize reality is what I call it. So what I challenge you to understand that myth has roots in reality. And I know it's hard to believe now, but we're going to get into it uh, later. And this idea of fallen angels and them setting themselves up with aspects uh, uh, and personalities. Uh, here's Nine Inch Nails. You can see Nine Inch Nails here with a lightning bolt. Nine Inch Nails is a reference to the Roman nail, which is nine inches that was used to crucify Jesus on the cross. And that's why they call themselves Nine Inch Nails. Here's Nickelodeon 2001 commercial. You can see the lightning bolt here. It's a very similar to these lightning bolts uh, here. And then the use of this eye in the triangle. Now we get into that one eye symbolism, and there's a clue to it. We'll get to that later. This is Zeus. Different culture, same god. So Zeus, Thor, and the Norse god. You can hear, see here this is goats as well. So you have this goat aspect with this god and this uh, depiction in this case. He is the god with the hammer and lightning. This is a bank building that shows hammer and lightning together and this angelic aspect. Pride is no longer here. It's a uh, MMA uh, group in Japan. Arm and hammer refers to the arm and hammer of Thor. Now it just also j just so happens to be Eastern and Western uh, syn synonyms uh, to these uh, uh, gods. So this is lightning, and you can see lightning being held at the top uh, in Buddhism, and then the thunder, thunder balls. Now we get that term, thunder balls. These are thunder and lightning gods in Buddhism. We Those lightning god uh, is called Raiden, and you can see this being used uh, in video games. I used to play with a toy in Japan that was a transformer type toy called Raidin. So you, again, the same name. Uh, he just happened to pull his sword out and conjure lightning to defeat his em enemies at the last uh, moment. So in this case, uh, we're being indoctrinated at an early age as to these deities in this mythology, what we consider myth. This is the African version of the lightning god, and you can see hammers back here. In this case, you have the hand with lightning and the hammer. 
So dual dual aspects of the same God, uh, and they you well you find all this dualism going on. Uh, uh, this is God separated, but then you have gods having the same aspects uh, in one. So you have Zango here. This is the African God again, and you can understand that when marketing, they understand what they're doing because they're using lightning with regard to this ad and using the name of the God Zango uh, in order to uh, promote their products. Here is Harry Potter and you can see the use of the lightning bolt on the forehead. Here he is again and again. This is Satan touching the young Harry Potter. And this is a, an example of the Hegelian dialectic. You have thesis, antithesis, synthesis. This is a good witch or warlock against a evil witch or warlock. But then again, who is the hero? The white witch or the dark witch? The white witch becomes the hero and therefore the good guy, but they're both witches. And so you have this synthesis of understanding that Harry Potter is the good person. The Vatican, Potter's magic is okay. Witchcraft found not to be anti-Christian. So we can now see that they are tolerating witchcraft in the Vatican. Church, New Age is positive if you don't go too far. New Age refers to the New Age movement and that New Age movement is into mysticism and we'll see that that New Age is in fact Old Age. So we have children being indoctrinated. I don't believe the stories of J.K. Rowling, the richest woman in the world, and how she came to, to uh, uh, her status as being the richest woman in the world uh, going from, uh, from uh, uh, those types of means without the help of the de demonic realm and I believe that she is a witch to understand the uh, the aspects of Harry Potter. Oh no, uh, yes I'm a witch and so she uses, of course she uses the lightning bolt representing Satan. So that is the end of the first plate in lightning.